Hi, my name is Marshall Nivens. I'm a student at East Lincoln High School, and this is me. Beyond the numbers, scores, grades, and wins and losses, Lincoln County Schools desires to showcase real people, local families, real struggles, successes, and real stories that are part of our own untold story. This is a great place to work, learn, play, and grow, and we want our community to see the strength from our own. We are hashtag LCS strong to the core. Marshall, thanks for uh, sitting down with me today. You're a student here at East Lincoln High School, a senior. Yes, sir. Um, but you had a you've had a to deal with something your entire life that makes you a little unique. Mm -hmm. uh, would you mind sharing that with us? Uh, yeah. So I have a condition called ALD, adrenal leukodystrophy, and um, I'm missing the enzyme that breaks uh, something called the long chain fatty acid down. Uh, when that is not broken down, and like in my case. Uh, the, it can, it tends to cause destruction of the myelin sheath that protects your brain. And uh, eventually once it gets passed through that sheath, then it, it's all brain damage. So if I was to you know, <clears throat> kind of be real generic here, so if this covering over the wire is the myelin sheath, mm -hmm. part of your brain kind of looks like that, but part of it now looks like that, mm -hmm. and it's exposed part of the brain that it shouldn't have been exposed, Yes, right? sir. Okay. How long have you had this um, condition? Uh, I was born with it. Um, I was diagnosed at the age of six. I started having extremely bad migraines at the age of three, and uh, they just they got worse and worse and worse, and eventually I, I just had to go to the doctor for it. So how did that impact you early, but also even growing up to now as a, as a senior, how has your life been impacted by this, uh, this condition? Uh, I, I was always very active as a child. So I didn't really have a whole lot of side effects noticeable straight off the bat, because a lot of it can be muscle degeneration, things like that. And but as, since I was always active, it never, never showed up. And I remained active uh, even after uh, I was out of the hospital and everything. I mean, because looking at you today, I mean, you look like a normal teenager, yeah. uh, somebody on the street. This would not be something they would could identify. No. So what are some of the, maybe the limitations that you've experienced or have there been? Anything that you uh, couldn't do? No. Uh, m me and my dad, we were always close-knit through football when I was younger. That's what I started out playing and I played it all the way to eighth grade. And uh, we were both really worried that I wouldn't be able to play football since there was the issues with brain damage. And uh, as soon as I was released from the hospital and they gave me the, they let me go, I was straight back into football. Um, but no, I wouldn't say there are any limitations. Okay. Are there any special precautions that you feel you have to take or you and your family have had to adjust with a, maybe a new normal? Um, I do have to take a medication every day, a supplemental steroid because my body doesn't produce it, produce it naturally. So I have to keep up with that and uh, if my stress levels get too high or if I was to break a bone or anything, I would just have to take a, a bit more of my steroid. Okay. Who has been an inspiration to you through your path with ALD? Uh, I would I would have to say my entire family. You know, my, my mom dropped everything what she was doing to come and stay with me every second through the hospital. My grandmother did the same thing. Uh, my father and my sister had to stay back at home, so that was difficult, not being able to see him. Saw him every weekend, every second he could come see me. What hospital did you have to find treatment with? Uh, Duke University. So yeah. that was a three and a half hour trip from like, from here home. Are you a Blue Devil fan? Uh, I, a little bit at heart, <laughs> I'd have to say. I'd say I'd, I'd have to be too if they took care of me like that. Um, you know, from an awareness perspective, what is it that you strive um, for people to know about ALD awareness? Uh, newborn screening is a big factor. If uh, we could get babies as soon as they're born screened for this disease uh, because it's it's so, such a rare disease uh, the uh, carriers of the de disease have no idea they would have it mm -hmm. so it would be too late before you find it in most cases okay so obviously we talked about the fact that you're a student here at East High do you mm -hmm. have a favorite subject uh, um, because of my background in medicine, I'm going into the nursing field. Okay. Uh, I've already been accepted to ECU to their nursing program, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Almost full circle to give back to 
similar to how you've been given to. Yes, sir. Do you think you're strong? Uh, I would have to say I'm strong. How so? Uh, going through everything I went through at such a young age, it was uh, certainly trying, and it still is today, uh, knowing I've seen so many people go through the same path and not, not make it or come back with issues from it, and, and me to have come out completely fine. So. A lot of people, when they hear ALD, they may not recognize those three letters and what they mean. Um, and definitely, it's a it's a hard word to pronounce with yeah. the, all the letters. But there's a movie been made um, in the early '90s, Lorenzo's Oil, mm-hmm. um, that di- that depicts a family's uh, struggle with this with their child. And yes, and there's a quote in the beginning of that movie um, that says, "Life has meaning only in the struggle." So let's celebrate the struggle. How have you been able to celebrate your path? Uh, ever ever since we first started the whole path, God has been the centerfold to all of it. Uh, I don't, I don't think we could have got through it without uh, my family's close ties with God. All right. You know, thinking about um, final thoughts for someone out there watching this video twenty years from now, looking back on YouTube or whoever knows what platform they'll watch it on in the future. What is it that you want people to remember about Marshall Nivens and ALD? Uh, Keep the faith. Faith is all everything. You have to have faith to get through any of it because it's difficult, but it can be done. Marshall, you definitely are strong. I appreciate you sharing time. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me share a small part of my story. I'm proud to be a part of. Hashtag LCS strong to the core.